We close another winning trade, this time for 40% in just one day. And another buying opportunity is on the horizon. This is Invest with Jacob. All right, guys, so we closed another winning trade on Friday, this time for 40% gains in just one day. And one of my subscribers, Ronnie, made 92% on the information she used for that trade. And guess what, guys? That's gong worthy. Okay, we'll get into all of that in just one second. But if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabber. This is Invest with Jacob. And I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get all of our S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buying opportunities. Okay, guys, so what a great start to the week, right? We close out the week with a 40% win, and we've got another buying opportunity on the horizon. But first, for all you new folks, I want to jump into our documented trade so you can see how we are doing. All right, guys, so here we are in our tr documented trades spreadsheet, and you can see we started this channel in late March, and we are now in mid-May. We've had six trades, okay, for 412%, 25%, 48%, and 40% gains and two losing trades for 10% and 11% losses. That gives us a total gain loss per contract of $1,747. Now the way we do that is we use Elliott Wave Theory to identify high reward, low risk trading spots that allow us to have big wins and small losses, as you can see here with just 10 and 11% losses while we have much bigger gains. So if you wanna get on board with that, hit that subscribe button and join my Facebook group. There's a link in the description where you can get our real-time trading updates. Okay guys, so what do we have in store for us this week? Well, we have a very solid start to our structure off of last week's lows. And assuming we can follow through with that structure, we have another buying opportunity on the horizon, including a very big one coming up soon. So let's jump into the chart and take a look at what it's looking like. So here we are in the five minute SPX chart. And as you can see down here off the low, you can see what we're calling right now our big wave four. And we're starting on wave one of wave five of wave three of wave five. Now I know that's convoluted, but the important thing is to follow the key levels so you know when to enter and exit trades. Okay, so we got our move up in mini wave one, then we had our ABC correction for wave two, and then I believe on Friday it looks like we completed wave three of wave one, and then this week I expect us to pull back to about 4150 to 4140. We should definitely hold 4140 as support. Uh, and then we'll look for a pretty short term trade right here where we're targeting this 4200 range for our final wave, uh, five wave move up to complete wave one. So should we pull back tomorrow to this 4150 to 4140 range and start showing a reversal out of that? We'll look to buy on a short term, maybe only a week to 10 day trade to capture this move, this 50 point move up and do that. After that, we are expecting our wave two pullback. And you can see I have it labeled on the chart here. We're expecting that to come down to about the 4140 range. So because this wave two pullback is expected to come back to 4140 in that region, that's why we're doing a short term trade over here should we get the structure we want because we'll capture this gain and then let this pull back to right where we were and then start all over. Now the beauty of where wave two is hitting in this structure is how it all sets up. You guys know I love my targets and this structure is hitting its targets every time on the way up and that makes me very happy because that means a solid structure means our trades are much more likely to be successful and it's following the Elliott Wave path the way it should and that means the structure is much less likely to break down. So the structure lineup here is coming through really well because if we draw this in, right, if we come have our pullback here and then we come back and hit our target here and then we complete our wave two pullback, okay, this buying opportunity here is outstanding, okay, and here's why. If you look at the overall, if you back out and look at the overall chart picture, that's why I have it zoomed out a little bit so you can see it a little better. If you look at the overall chart, we have a classic setup here and it's hitting targets and the structure is sound and that's really what you're looking for. We're getting ready to uh, basically complete an inverted head and shoulders. So you can see you got your shoulder over here, okay, your head down here. And then it's going to come up and when it comes down to wave two, this is going to create the second shoulder on the back side. So this gives us a classic bullish pattern that coincides with technical analysis and Elliott wave and the MACD and we're hitting our targets. This is a incredible setup right here. If we follow through on this pattern, we pull back to here, get our wave five and then come back in wave two. We are entering a wave three, which is the best wave to trade. It's the fastest, most powerful wave we are hitting all of our targets on the way through, and we are in a classic inverted head and shoulders. I mean, this is you couldn't draw one up that looks better than this. 
and it backs it's backed up by all the technical indicators so this spot right here when we get to this spot this is where we're really going to look to go longer term and be aggressive on this trade because we should be targeting 4400 plus from here and you know it should be 4140 where we start so this spot right here is where we will look to have a much longer swing trade and capture all of that gain and look for one of them three digit you know triple digit percentage gains 100 200 300 percent type gains so that's what we're looking for here we're looking for a small win here maybe 30 to 50 percent if we can capture it right we'll wait for the pullback and then we're looking for the big win here this is the spot we want so guys, it's critically important that as this chart fills in, you know where we're at. And the way you do that is you join my Facebook group and my Slack channel. There is a link to the Facebook group down below in the description. Click that link, get in my Facebook group. The only requirements are you subscribe to this channel and you like my Facebook page. You do those two things. You can get my Facebook group for free. You get on my Slack channel for free. I give you real-time market updates as we're moving through it. I give you our trade alerts, our buy and sell alerts so that you don't miss a minute and you know when to get in and get out of the market and capture the gains that we're capturing. So make sure you click that link down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get all of those updates. Okay guys, key takeaways for today. We're watching the market to go ahead and come back and fill in wave four. If we happen to hit this target, 4150 to 4140 and we see a reversal, we will look for a short term trade to try to capture this move up. And then once we hit here, we'll go ahead and sell out of that trade, take a small gain. Wait for us to pull back in wave two and hopefully set up this perfect textbook inverted head and shoulders pattern that is hitting all the targets that that is really a nice clean setup for us to move up alternatively should this pattern fail where it will fail is in this region here where we hit the extension here for a b wave and then we could have a c wave down now i think that is very low in probability but you must know where your risks are when we pull back to 4140 if 4140 doesn't hold and we could expect to move down and make a new low after that. So 4140 is going to be the key area tomorrow. That's what we're going to watch. And then should we hold 4140, we'll look for that short-term trade. Wait for us to top out around 4200. Pull back again to around the 4140 region. And then from there, we're going to go long. All right, guys. So let's get off to a great start this week. Happy trading, guys. I will talk to you tomorrow.